Allman in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Two things I want to know immediately. Quite some time. I've been in what are the Golden Globes? <laughs> because I never hear anybody talk about how they won one, and I never hear that being a Golden Globe Award winner is anything special, and I never ever hear anybody referred to as a Golden Globe Award winner. And if you're not an Oscar winner in Hollywood or an Emmy winner, you're nothing. You can't just simply say, oh, I won a Golden Globe, because nobody knows what that is. What is it? I guess it's because the, the, it's, the, it's the Hollywood, it's the foreign press that, mm-hmm. it, you know, but whatever. And the other thing is, who the hell is Hugh Laurie? I don't know who that is. Oh gosh, I, who is he? He's British. He plays in uh, whatever. Uh, I mean, do I do I really need an no. answer? Nah. Cut number twenty-seven here, though. That's it. I suppose made more amazing by the fact that I'll be able to say I won this at the last ever Golden Globes. I don't. I don't mean to be gloomy. It's just that it has the words Hollywood, foreign, and press in the title. I just don't know what. I also. Think no, that's, that, the, uh, that's the only thing that he actually, in terms of what was said at the Golden Globes, that I would probably think is a little bit more based in reality than anything because but it's only because these people are bringing this on themselves hollywood certainly the press certainly and foreign governments certainly so yeah it's a, it's going to be a little it's going to be a tough time for all three so whoever hugh is he's quite correct it won't be the last ever Golden Globes, no. though. They'll still have those as a forum, like they did this time around for their Hillary loss party. But that's pretty much it. You really want to hear more from Merle Streep, though, honestly? No. <laughs> it's too bad we're going to. <laughs> no, please. Yeah. No, cut number 34. Here you go. When the powerful use their position to bully others, we all lose. Yeah, we do, don't we there, Merle? When all of you people in Hollywood take to the stage to to bully others, yep, we do all lose. Did she win a Golden Globe? Lifetime did. achievement. Mm-hmm. Oh, a lifetime achievement. Good. A lifetime achievement award. Yes. <laughs> my lifetime achievement award. Thank you so much. Excuse me, I just spent my whole life coughing. I can't talk. Yes, thank you so much. I <laughs> really so appreciate it. She's becoming like one of these old Hollywood hags. <laughs> Thank you. Ma'am, I'm sorry. My voice is... <laughs> what happened to her voice, though? She claimed that she'd been screaming all weekend. What was that one? I, that she, that mm-hmm. she lost her voice. Yeah, she I saying, love you. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I've lost my voice. From, and she said she was screaming over the weekend. She was lamenting. Like, but what, 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 was, what happened this weekend? I have no idea. What is she, a, 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 a Raiders fan? <laughs> or a Giants fan? I'm sorry, I was watching the Giants and the Packers game. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really thought the Raiders were going to pull this one off, but they didn't know. That's why my voice is like this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> why is her voice like that? She said she was screaming all, all the weekend. I love you. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I've lost my voice in screaming and lamentation this weekend. And what I, happened this weekend? I have no idea. That's that's all she gave. I was screaming in lamentation this weekend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, no. I am picturing you as Meryl Streep in a drag show. That's all I keep seeing. Well, I could definitely pull that off. I know with that voice. Hello, everybody. I'm Meryl Streep. Give me my lifetime achievement award. Stop. Stop, stop. Petting a poodle on my lap. With the updo. Oh, look at my little poodle. <laughs> mm. She's probably, what was she wearing? Was she wearing like a a, a, a sofa set or something? It was like last really night? flowy Of course dress. it was. a big. It was like a muumuu is what it was. And an updo. Remember she played in Mamma Mia. It was probably one of those dresses. Oh, she's going to be, she's going to be fat as a house. 
like in five years. Oh my goodness! Appearing on the foul, Jimmy. She'll 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 waddle out from behind that curtain. Hello, Jimmy. I'm so happy to be here. I've received my lifetime achievement award. She's gonna be. She's gonna look like Ursula from the that friggin' stop, stop, Disney movie. Stop. I'm, uh, I'm. That's her next role, <laughs> Ursula. Big oh, fat yeah. cow. <laughs> wait, wait. She might have been. My lifetime and she was maybe she she was I Ursula, wasn't she, she? No, I think she may have been cast as Ursula in the live version. I have to look that she up. She probably I'm will not be. Kidding. She's gonna be she's gonna be a, a float at the Macy's Day Stop. parade. Stop. They're just gonna oh. they're just gonna tether her up to the tether her up and she's gonna float down Fifth Avenue. Hello everybody, <laughs> I'm a Golden Globe Lifetime Achievement Award winner. <laughs> 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 if you are not seeing this, you need to log on to see this because that's what's setting up. But that, that's, what the, that's, what the, that's, where she, that's her future. That's Meryl Streep's future. Hi, everybody. I can't even talk anymore. Stop. Stop. Oh, my husband has been found. He's like 90. My husband has been down, face down in the pool. Oh, I have no idea how that happened. So I grabbed, I, I tucked my, my poodle and my, I, 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 I had my driver drive me down Hollywood Boulevard to the police station there and to report the death of my husband. I don't understand how her voice got just that, just that did, Didn't you listen to what she said, Katie? <laughs> I did, I did listen. Listen to what she said. I, I love I, you. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I've lost my voice in screaming and lamentation this weekend. So what was she doing? She was, but I, you asked how she lost her voice. She was le- lost her voice in screaming and lament, lamentation this weekend. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> I'm just saying that these people and Fallon, of course, had to make up for for all of the the interview we did with Trump where he was vilified. So this simpleton has to go out there and start to just go over the top disparaging him. Like he, Katie, who's a fan of his, mm-hmm. was even shocked, right? I mean, I you was, were like, yeah. you know, what is what is this guy doing? Which one do you want? You want the one where's the cut number 25 here. The film Florence Foster Jenkins is nominated. The character has been dubbed the world's worst opera singer. And even she turned down performing at Donald Trump's inauguration. It's a tough to book. It's tough to book. And my question is, like it was earlier. Has there actually ever been anyone who is on paper as having turned down an invitation? I mean, it's one of these stories like you hear about the people who were not refusing to perform, who are refusing to perform, but I've never known of any, who actually has been invited who has turned down an invitation? Right. We don't know. Because to my knowledge, there's not one person where it's been confirmed they were invited and they turned it down. I'm hearing a lot of people are saying they're refusing to perform, but we've never actually seen anything on paper, any evidence that they were ever invited in the first place. How can you turn something down if you're not invited to it? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out next break. Here come.